Hello, my friends. I'm going to do a good old ring and ribbon pour using Artist Loft Ready Mix Pouring Paints. But first, I have an announcement to make. Today is my birthday. And in celebration, I would like to offer free shipping for any purchase made from my website, CourtesyPaints.com, for the next four days. So that means from November 18th through November 22nd, 2021, I will reimburse any shipping charges you pay through my website by tucking cash into my thank you notes that I send along with the painting. Tax is included in the price, and I have several pieces on sale, as well as a lot of new items. Now, I have to limit this birthday offer to the U.S., but I am approaching the milestone of 10,000 subscribers. And as I have done in the past, I will be doing a giveaway of several paintings, and every subscriber is eligible no matter where you live in the world. So, take advantage of my birthday offer if you wish. And now let's get to today's pour. Let's set this aside for a moment while I fill up the cup. Um, I, I just random, well not randomly, but I gave a little thought to the colors. I'm going to use black and aqua green. Copper just a bit because that is very bossy and tends to take over. Titanium white, turquoise, and then I might throw in some of this deep yellow. I really like the way these two look side by side. Really pretty. So, Let's get to it. I think I'll I'll start with the black. Oops. It's a brand new bottle. Okay. I'll um, kind of do a side-by-side -side pouring of these this copper and turquoise. Turquoise tends to, not the turquoise, the copper tends to sink to the bottom and come out last. So I really have to be careful with using it, not too much. And now, some of this, and if I put this uh, deep yellow on top of the copper, it may, it may tone it down a little bit. And perhaps some white. I've done over 40 videos with Artist Loft Ready Mix paints, if you're interested. Um, sometimes I extend them with Floetrol and glue, and sometimes I use silicone. They're really fun to work with. Um, so if you're interested, you may want to check out my playlist. Brave and add a little more, a little more copper. There's a gnat flying in here. I'm just sure he's going to end up in my painting. <laughs> We'll use that up. I'm getting to the end of the bottle. There he is. Look at that. He's taunting me. Okay. I haven't done a ring and ribbon in quite some time. So let's see if I can still do it. I think I'll do kind of a traveling ring pour. Or maybe... Maybe two, um, 
two, two separate areas and then ribbon across. Here we go. I don't really like these plastic cups because it's running down about halfway down. I'm doing something kind of odd there. Okay, see, it's running down the side. I prefer um, paper cups so I can make a spout. That's pretty. Okay, where is the black? some of it. Where's the copper? Oh, I like that contrast there. That's great. This is kind of boring over here, so I'm going to pour on top there. Wow, the copper is absolutely at the bottom. Um, okay, time for some ribbons. I'm gonna put some large ribbons across and then tilt. There's the copper, finally. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I'll tilt and come back to uh, add some more. I like it there. That's pretty. Turn it towards you so you can see what's going on. Oh, that copper is so pretty. Okay. Yeah. Now I'm going to add some more ribbons. I think I'm done tilting. Oh, that is so pretty in through here. I I like it. It's it's very different than than most of my ring and ribbons, but um, I'm liking the look of it. Now let's see what happens when I add some more. Wow, there's some, I'm sorry, looking up close, there are some really nice areas. I'm excited to bring you in for a closer look, but first let's add some more ribbons. Trying to be very graceful with my movements. And I like to crisscross things. I'm gonna I think 
I might be done. This is bothering me right here. That just that part just kind of stops. But I don't want to mess up the rest. Let's see, what can I do? Oh, look at that. This is my favorite one of the ribbons. That is neat. After it sits in the cup for a while, it starts kind of blending together. So um, I think I'll leave it. I think I'm done. Unless <laughs> in my my old age here, I'm 68, by the way, if anybody's curious, and uh, that way you don't have to ask my doddering old age. I'm going to add a little more. It's my prerogative. And then I will stop. Just going to disguise that area right there. Okay, my friends, I am done. I like it. Let me bring you in for a closer look. I love these paints. I really do. They're so fun to use. And it just and I used these straight out of the bottle, but I often like to make custom colors. They mix really well together, of course. And uh, I'm sorry about that shadow there, but oh, interesting. I'm happy with it. It's very kind of jungly, funky. I like it. Well, there you go. There's my birthday pour. And I thank you for joining me. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye now.